Comparative life cycle assessment of recycled aggregate concrete to natural aggregate concrete using the Semipro software in the Philippines. 135 million tons of construction and demolition wastes or CDW are produced annually in USA. 40% of generated wastes from approximately 25 billion tons of concrete produced globally per year came from Europe. Demand of concrete each year is increasing which leads to high consumption of natural resources such as aggregates, cement sand, gravel. Studies shown that RCA brings good environmental impact through preserving natural aggregates and landfill space. REC with 100% coarse aggregates replacement results compared to NAC based from the study of Price Jenkins, 2011. The objectives of the study are First, to conduct a life cycle assessment on concrete with RCA and natural aggregate NA. Second, to determine and compare the environmental impacts related to the production of REC and NAC after LCA using the Semipro software. And lastly, to provide internal recommendations on the possible application of REC with RCA. Specifically, the study will seek to establish the feasibility of using RCA. The use of RCA will help to reduce and minimize the disposal of CDW in the construction sector. It will prevent the substantial negative environmental impacts like global warming due to the CO2 emissions. The study will also help the local and national government in maintaining the environment sustainable and safe for living. In a sense, it will also help in the strict implementation of local policies to further identify the sustainability of REC using LCA. The study will focus on the possible application of REC in the Philippines setting. It is considered that the general transport setting shall be within Metro Manila. Local materials will be sourced from the established producers and the location of the application is determined as per the researcher's reasonable judgment. Other local information that are not available will be remedied by the global data from different sources which will be refined by the researchers. Researchers to know the most applicable setup in the country. For the methodology and analyses the life cycle assessment of concrete. Four steps of life cycle assessment goal and definition inventory impacts assessment interpretation of results. Step 1 goal and definition. The goal of the study is to assess the environmental impact of REC production and compare it to the environmental impact of NAC production in Luzon. CML baseline method was used for the assessment and the analyses of the system boundaries was limited only to cradle to gate level. The assessment focused from the extraction and production of constituent materials up to the production of concrete. Life cycle of a concrete structure and system boundaries in the case study, focused from the extraction and production of constituent materials up to the production of concrete. The mobile recycling plant, 20T, is located at Togag City, Metro Manila for about 50 kilometers distance to the any point of Metro Manila demolition site. The functional unit in mass units, 1 ton or cubic meter of concrete, was chosen by determining the mixed proportions of natural and recycled aggregate can crits to fulfill the same functional requirement of compressive strength. Samples are the natural aggregate concrete is designated as NAC which composed of river sand and gravel. The recycled aggregate is designated as REC50 and REC100 which composed of sand and 50% and 100% replacement of natural coarse aggregate, respectively. Step 2 Inventory the source of sand and gravel is collected from quarrying site located at Rizal using 28T truck traveling in 45 km distance to concrete plant at any point of Metro Manila. The source of cement is collected from cement plant located at Bulacan using 28T truck traveling in 60 km distance to concrete plant at any point of Metro Manila. The source of REC is collected from demolition site to landfill and then to construction site with a total travel of 100 km using 28T truck at any point of Metro Manila. This is the summary of source and transport distance of the materials. Emissions data were taken from Semipro database regarding the easel production and transportation, natural gas distribution and transport. It was mentioned earlier that CML methodology was used in this study. Some of the environmental impact categories considered in the assessment were global warming, eutrophic ocean, acidification, photochemical oxidant creation and others. In order to reproduce the situation in a real recycling plant, RCA was produced from different quality parent cancrits from various demolition sites. RCA was originated from carefully selected demolished concrete bridge structures and waste laboratory specimens. 
with the use of mobile recycling plant, the crushing and screening into three fractions of RCA was made to fulfill the same functional requirements. Target property values for all concrete types were compressive strength at 28 days equal to 42 MPA, slump measured after 30 minutes equal to 8 plus or minus 2 centimeters. Both natural and RCA for all concrete mixes were oven dried, due to high absorption value of RCA. Additional water for the REC mix was calculated on the basis of RCA absorption after 30 minutes. The following are the mix proportions and properties of NAC and REC used in the study. This is the result of concrete network analyses derived from Simipro software. Result of REC50 network analyses derived from Simipro software. Lastly, the result of REC100 network analyses derived from Simipro software. Step 3 Impact Assessment Based from the results of the calculations made in percentage, it can be observed that, generally, REC100 has the largest indicator for all impact category indicators. Majority of the indicators for all impact categories of conventional concrete are lower than the indicators for all impact categories of REC100 ranging from 17% up to 55%. It is also evidently shown that the indicators for all impact categories of conventional concrete are the lowest compared to all impact category indicators both of REC50 and REC100. The indicators for all impact categories of REC50 are lower than the indicators for all impact categories of REC100, ranging from 7% up to 25%. For all category indicators, the REC100 obtained the higher environmental impact as compared to REC50 and conventional concrete. It is due to the design mix of REC100 that requires higher amount of cement. The REC50 and conventional concrete resulted to the same contribution of cement production for all category indicators because they both require the same amount of cement to the design mix. However, there is slight difference not greater than 5%. The REC100 contributed the highest in all category indicators for aggregates production phase since the production of RCA require additional process such as crushing. There is 18% to 50% difference between REC50 and REC100 because the 50% of REC50 is from natural aggregates which have less a process in production. Likewise to conventional concrete, a lesser percentage in all categories as compared to REC100 ranging from 45% to 55%. On the other hand, it is evidently that the conventional concrete has the lowest impact as compared for both REC50 and REC100. Based from the inventory, the distance of quarrying site and cement production to any point of Metro Manila gives a good environmental impact which does not require long travel. However, the production of REC gives additional transportation requirement because of its delivery from demolition site going to landfill and then to construction site at any point of Metro Manila. In result, the conventional concrete has approximately 23% and 38% lower impact in all categories for transport phase compared to REC 50 and REC 100, respectively. The following conclusions are made based on the evaluation of REC compared to NAC through life cycle assessment using the Simipro software. First, REC 100 has the largest indicator credit and impact among the three types of concrete considered and analyzed. Second, the location of quarrying site and cement production gives a good environmental impact since it does not require long travel distance. The locations considered for this study is the nearest to the Metro Manila. However, the production of RCA requires additional transportation which is from demolition site to landfill and then to construction site. In result, there is higher environmental impact in all categories for both RAC50 and RAC100 compared to conventional concrete. Third, the conventional concrete obtained the lowest impact in all category indicators compared to RAC. This is because of the additional crushing process and transportation. Lastly, the obtained results can be useful to similar LCA studies, provided that all the geographical, temporal and technological conditions be appropriately taken into account. Based from the foregoing conclusions presented, the following recommendations can be drawn. To further establish a more comprehensive analysis of the REC in the Philippines, setting must be considered broader and wider specifically on the transportation issue specifically for provinces that are far from quarrying site and cement production. Explore the alternative mix modification to maximize the potential of REC versus NAC. 
Finally, to establish a study comparing NAC and REC, basing on real data on specific and existing establishments. Given the specificities, the real environmental impact of A, concrete is different in all regions. Future research on the improvement and development of the application RCA in the construction sector must be established to continuously manage and support the recycling of C&D waste. One aspect of a consistent research in this field is the utilization of C&D waste as RCA and REC in its secondary life. This is to aim a sustainable resources replacement to the natural resource. In order to pursue sustainable development in the construction sector, consumption of raw materials should be decreased with the utilization of C&D waste as partially or fully replacement of the primary materials. RCA is feasible and viable, proven by numerous research and studies. Philippines shall invest in the conduct of study and development of REC in the local setting. Strict implementation of the existing regulations and laws abiding the construction sector for the CDW in the country shall be established and followed. Revision of the existing laws and creation of new regulations are necessary to complement with the latest and modernized local construction industry. The References of the Study Thank you for listening.